Hello and welcome. In this video, we will build a simple QNC converter using Python. In the end of this video, I'm giving you an idea how you can use that in practice. So, the first step is to install the necessary module by typing in pip install forex minus Python. As you see, in my case, the requirement is already satisfied. You will have to wait like some seconds or maybe a minute. So, the next step is to import from forex underscore python dot converter import currency rates be careful with the uppercase r here and then we are assigning currency rates to c and we're using the c and get the function get rates and let's just assume we are americans and we are interested in the us dollar rates so we are printing that out and let's execute that and as you here we are getting the currency pairs relative to the us dollar Let's say you are only interested in a certain currency pair, then you have to get rid of this S here and just use the get rate function and provide the destination currency as the second argument here. So let's say we are Europeans and we are interested in the US dollar euro rate and as you see we are getting the US dollar euro rate here. The rate is as of today and maybe you are interested in the rate as of a certain date. Therefore, we are creating a daytime object by using the daytime module. So we are using import daytime as dt, and then we are creating a date object with dt.daytime. And then let's just say we are interested in the rate by the end of 2019. For example, for an annual report, it could be relevant. So we are using uh, the end of December 2019 here as the date and we could just provide this date as the third argument of this get rate function here. So we are just providing date here and print that out again and as you see we are getting the US dollar euro rate as of the end of 2019. Okay, so pretty cool until now. But um, what can you do with that? So let's say you have, so this is the practical implementation implementation or just an idea how you can implement that. So let's say you are working in audit and you have a client who is doing business with like five countries. So let's create a list here and let's say he is doing business with Europe, uh, India of course, um, we have like what else can we take? We can take Sweden and I'm not creative right now. We can take Australia and we can take Switzerland, okay? And now you just want to get the currency rate for these countries here. So we could just implement a simple for loop. So we are using for i in countries and then just print out this function here, get rate. So we are interested in the currency rates for these currencies as of the end of 2019 here. So we are just using, instead of euro here, we are just using the iterator as the destination currency. And we are using the function as it is, like here. And as you see, we are getting the currency rates as of the end of 2019 for the US dollar relative to those um, those other currencies. I, I forgot to comment that out. That is why we're getting that two times here. So let's do that again. And as you see, we're getting those currency rates. If you wanna even improve that, you could just add the iterator in inside this print statement here and print out the currency name with that. So as you see, we're getting the currency uh, rates here on this specific uh, date. So if you even want to improve that, you could just do something like that. You can just use print, um, let's say US dollar currency, currency rates as of, uh, let's just take a format here as of date, and then you will get US currency rate as of uh, the end of 2019, and then you are getting those rates. So just as an idea to, to implement that in practice, for example, I could imagine that could be helpful in controlling or audit or any other finance field. 
So if you have a usage for that, I'm really looking forward to your comment on that. Yeah, if you enjoyed this video or could extract value out of that, I would be happy if you liked this video and subscribe to this channel. And of course, I'm looking forward to seeing the upcoming videos. See you next time. Bye-bye.